Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna do some tuning on my little milk crate uh, trash can slash uh, emergency toilet. There is a flaw to this uh, design, so today I'm gonna fix that flaw. All right. So normally this is how it's going to be sitting inside my minivan camper like this as a trash can, right? So when in need, I will pull this trash bag out and it become my emergency toilet. However, there is a flaw to this. If you can see, see that little thing right there? Once you put the bag up, there is a possibility of if you do your number two and there's a little splash that go on it, then you gotta clean it, right? So I'm gonna fix that problem today. Let's check this out. So originally I had this piece inside the, that, you know, the area of the basket. But the problem is when I put the bag over the lips of this thing, like this, right? This is normally you would set it up to be ready to be used. But if you're gonna put this inside here, and you can see there is a problem with that. See that? That thing is exposed to a possibility of splashing. So, instead of leave it inside, I'm gonna do it on the outside perimeter of this thing. So it still keep this seat from moving, yet it will be out of the way without getting uh, dirty. Plus, I'm gonna paint everything under here with uh, semi-gloss paint so it'll be easy to clean and possibly it'll be the same color as that so it's kind of brownish looking all right so we'll blend in really easy so it's pretty easy upgrade all I have to do is move this piece to the outside and that piece to the outside and a little piece in the front and a little in the back there then it will not move from the crate at all it'll be stable Yet it still have all the function that I wanted. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna bring you back. Or maybe if you want, to. nah. I'm gonna bring you back when I'm done. So I'm gonna make this a really short video. It's nothing major change. Just a little bit of tweaking. All right. So the tool that I'm gonna use for this job is gonna be a battery operated drill, which has a tips that functions as a screwdriver and a drill at the same time. Oh, I didn't have that bit in there. So I got I need to put the bit back in. So what this does is it drill the hole and it taper the hole so that way the screw it will sit flush under the area like here. See how flush it is? That's the function of this thing here. This part right here is to make it uh, countersunk. And I'm gonna just use hand tool. No uh, the only power tool is this drill. Alright, let's get to work. So I left these intact, so that way the, the piece will stay together. And then I put this right here, so I can draw the line where the screw should be, so it will attach to the piece of wood right here. So now, I'm gonna go up to here and attach it uh, before I remove this. So it's kind of hard to see right now, but I'm gonna bring you back. So let me show you. Since I already draw the hole, this is how I'm gonna touch it. Four screw. But this time, I used a little bit shorter screw instead of a longer one. I will show you how long this is when I took it out. But because right now I'm going sideways, so you only need maybe a little bit, you know, a little bit more than you to go into this wood. All right.
So after I already secured this, then I remove this fist to use on this side and just repeat the same process. Once I finish installing it, I will remove this piece because this is a two piece. I have to keep them together to be aligned correctly, otherwise it's gonna be crooked. All right, just repeat the process. All right, so I installed on the outside. Here you can see all the screws flush. I didn't need to use the, see this is too long. So previously we installed it this way, but now that we installed this way, yeah, you don't want, you don't need such a long, just half of this side, just enough to stick into the wood. So now I'm gonna paint the underside of this, the same color of this, using the semi-gloss paint. So that way, if any spill, you can wipe it away clean, all right? I will bring you back once I'm finished painting this thing. Here it is. This is my new and improved lid for the trash can slash number two emergency toilet. No more splashing. Once you put it in, no way it's going to splash. Uh, hard to do one hand. There you go. Fit nicely. Ooh. I still got my tape right here. I'm gonna take it off. Thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.